welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. And today, it comes courtesy of my friends over at Mattel, because who's not making TMNT figures at this point? This is an early look at their upcoming Master of the Universe X TMNT toy line mashup, the, the Turtles, Turtles of Grayskull. Gray we have Donatello, the heroic turtle at arms, to kick it off. Now, there is gorgeous artwork all over the box. Awesome. Leonardo, He-Man, very reminiscent of old school TMNT video game arts, like the Game Boy games, Tournament Fighters, and then especially Turtles in Time. Very cool to see. I like that little nod. If it, in fact, it is a nod. But mashing it up, Turtles, He-Man, just seems like an 80s match made in Eternia. Now on the back side, in true He-Man Origins fashion, as it is the same card back, you get all the information that will tell you as to what the holy heck you are actually looking at here, especially some amazing gorgeous artwork of this version of Donatello versus this version of Beast Man. More on that, I'm sure. And just the sheer wackadoo-ness uh, of taking a turtle's shell off. More on that later. And then Leonardo, Man-at-Arms, and a mutant He-Man makeup wave one. Now, here's the barcode. If slash win these start to hit store shelves, I would imagine you would see these a lot more heavily into January, February, around that time period, and I would expect a pre-order to be happening pretty soon, we'll just say. But always stay tuned to my socials, I'll have many, many updates as to when they go live, not to worry. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Donatello, the heroic Turtle at Arms from the brand new Master of the Universe XTMNT Turtles of Grayskull by Mattel. All right, so if that intro didn't uh, scare you off, we'll just say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. Like, subscribe, do all that great stuff. Leave me a comment. Let's talk about Turtles of Grayskull. But before we get to that, there's a Turtles of Grayskull comic book for Wave 1 by the power of pizza. It says, the cover pretty much gives away the storyline, we'll just say. And there is a Michelangelo sporting some He-Man hair, which I totally appreciate. Now, within the comic, you can skip ahead if you want to avoid spoilers, it briefly tells you how the TMNT meets the Masters of the Universe. And well, He-Man, he's been uh, hit with a mutagen. There's also a Leatherhead in here, which I hope to God that they're making a figure of him. And it's just pure pandemonium featuring Shredder and Krang and whatever the dimension hopping baloney it is. But on the back side, you get a look at all the artwork for the figures. It's quite the comic book. Definitely check it out. So you have Donatello here, the heroic turtle at arms. <laughs> he does come with a bow staff, but this time around, because Donnie has been mashed up with man at arms, you get a man at arms bow staff. It has turtle related elements along with man at arms elements all over it and he can hold it like a traditional donatello figure would which i totally appreciate it's almost like a long baseball bat right but it's pure orange like he-man weapons now donatello himself i'm gonna tell you right now i don't know if i'm fully into this line i like the creativity and some of it i go yeah I like the turtle shell idea it's just okay. And that's my honest thoughts on this. It's like, yeah, it's it's Ninja Turtles, which I love, and He-Man, which I've gotten into in recent years. And it is 80s madness that these never have teamed up before. But there's something charming about it, and then also something ridiculously dumb. <laughs> but that, to a degree, is all part of the Ninja Turtle fun, right? So you kind of have to take it with, yeah, whatever. Just mash it up with anything. I mean, they did Star Trek back in the day, right? With Playmates toys. He's got really nice sculpts all over him. It's very much He-Man with the solid purple colors. He does have a lot of paint going on in various degrees. He's even got a little squirt cannon on one side or whatever, air tank, whatever that is. But the armor is removable. Add, subtract, do what you like. On the back side with the shell, that's just something weird before we get to that though he does have weapon storage so you can put the man at arms bow staff in there right that totally works that fits that looks good now that being said weapon storage is great right well he also has this ability which to me is 
so weird, yet also so playmates, right? At the same time, the shell comes off, and it's a shell shield. There is a shell underneath, underneath the purple harness and whatnot, but that's just weird in and of itself. It's just bizarre, right? He has a green skin-colored shell underneath. Go figure, right? So, the shell. You got the weapon storage, you got the handle on it, it's a shield shell. There's not a whole lot to it, but it does look interesting, and it provides an interesting play feature to these figures, especially for the kiddos. Now, in terms of the articulation, yes, you will get plenty of it. And like I said, if you've ever handled a He-Man Origins figure, you pretty much know what you're in for. So the arms will go all the way out. There's nothing at the bicep. He has single jointed elbows. He'll spin at the elbow, rock at the wrist, two fro, you get the idea. Now, he will spin at the waist. And for those wondering, yes, like all He-Man Origins, you can pop the limbs off and then create your own TMNT abomination. We'll just say. <laughs> and again, that is part of the fun of all these He-Man Origins figures, especially, again, with the kiddos, not just the collectors, that you can form your own versions of He-Man, the Ninja Turtles. You just have fun and relax, and that's all that matters at this point. <laughs> with the legs, I will tell you, you'll get lots of range of movements. The knees are single jointed. They will spin at the knee as well. You also have, as everything is turning here from armor to legs and knees, he also has boots, swivel, the feet, they go up and down, they rock, which allow these types of turtle figures to then use the various He-Man accessories and vehicles and whatnot. Now, if you're wondering, how do these scale from Playmates toys to, well, 2003 Playmates toys, these are a larger Ninja Turtle figure, which is interesting. I, for some reason, thought that these were going to be around the same size. No, they are quite taller. And if you were wondering how they stack up next to what Super 7 and NECA Toys has done, they're roughly around the same size. As you move the legs, straighten the legs, they're just above NECA and just below Super 7 Turtles. But I will say, as, again, dumb as I think this is, <laughs> it's funny. And it's something that harkens to the core of what Ninja Turtles is in all the various team-ups that we've seen just in recent years. But he definitely looks good with He-Man. So that'll wrap it up for my look at the brand new Donatello, the heroic turtle at arms from the brand new TMNT X Masters Universe mashup, the Turtles of Grayskull by Mattel. And again, thank you to my friends over at Mattel for sending this out for the purposes of of this video. There's a lot of charm here. There's a lot of creativity, but there is also a lot of TMNT overload, right? Everybody's making TMNT figures. Everybody's making great TMNT figures, but if you are a He-Man collector, I think that these will be right up your alley, and I think a lot of you out there will be welcoming these to your Castle Grayskulls and or Snake Mountains. So, you've heard my thoughts, and so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Turtles of Grayskull. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, now, do you think they're going to do some sort of mashup with the party wagon? Perhaps the Technodrome? Maybe a Snake Mountain Technodrome? Could be kind of cool. And if they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.